What's up, YouTube? Welcome to one of my drawing videos. So grab your pens, pencils, crayons, or any drawing medium of your choice. And now, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and draw the smiling critters from Poppy Playtime, Chapter 3. And if you're on Procreate, go ahead and hit that wrench tool. Hit the canvas, drawing guide, edit drawing guide, and hit symmetry. This is going to be a very, very basic drawing tutorial of how to do these guys. And let's go ahead and start with the basic underlining structure for all of them. Let's see, their faces kind of consist of like a triangle almost. And then you want to like throw another one, round it up at the top, kind of like give it a little, little, little dip in there. Let me zoom in for you and just kind of throw that down. Like just, we're just sketching in the basic shape right now. You can either draw this very super light or use a crayon or a colored pencil. And then for the eyes, they're kind of, almost like a oval and then a smaller crescent underneath and of course you want to throw a circle in there for the eyes probably want to wind that up just a bit we're going to go in here in just a bit and fix that up but this is just going to be the basic of basic for the critters and you want to go ahead and fill in the area of the mouth right there and that's just a basics of it. And given them that they are basically plushies, we're gonna give it a plushy body. Let me give myself some more room. So just a little rounded body there. Throw down for the legs and just end, end them there, just like so. And we can do the same shape for the arm. And that is gonna be like bare bones basic of a smiling critter. Now, we're gonna add another layer. We're gonna turn the opacity down for this guy. And let's go ahead and get my technical pencil out. Remember, always hit drawing assist so you can get that simultaneous drawing on that symmetry. We'll start off with catnap. And we're just gonna the body, the legs, and the arms. Also, most of them do have the split color there, so just add a line right there as well. And now for this part of the tutorial, I'm gonna add an additional layer for the face because each one is gonna be slightly different from the next, but overall the same. So, let's go in and start, oops, See, I had to remind myself, assist. Let's go in, swoop, follow some of those guidelines that we traced in the back. Let's round that up a little bit better. That looks much better. And go in for the face, or well, that's like a little good cheekbone. Go in there and round it out. And if you're just doing traditional drawing, just basically mirroring everything at the present moment. Go ahead and do those eyes. And if you need time to slow down, feel free to pause and restart any chance you get. Also, let's go ahead and do a circle for the eyeballs. And since this is catnap, catnap has a little nose. And now you see you still have this basic shape, but with catnap, just curve it just a hair like you would a kitty cat mouth. And you can either go traditional like that with some of their cartoons, or we can just round it out like the creepy little critters they are. We're not gonna do anything crazy, but let's just color that in black and black. And there's the basis of catnap and some triangles with some more triangles for the ears. And that's basically catnap. Now, let me go to another layer and you can add the tail, just some squiggly lines right behind it. Catnap has a super long tail, but just for the sake of argument for this drawing, we'll keep it nice and short. And Catnap has a crescent moon as it's pinned it. And we'll give it that. And don't forget, they all also have those zippers. So Catnap is basically done right there. I'm gonna duplicate this layer for later. And I'm going to merge that one down. Tap, merge. And there is our basics for catnap. And now we can actually go ahead and just for this, 
we'll color him in. Continue filling. Color, 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 color. And a little bit darker for the paws and the feet and the inside of those ears. And of course you want white for there. Yellow for there. Oop. In there. And of course, gray for those. And that's essentially catnap. And now let's move on to the next. And maybe we won't be able to spend as much time on each one individually as we just did that, but let me show you some bare basics. Let's get rid of catnap. Bring this back. Open up the other layer. Get black on there again. Let's do dog day. Let's see what dog day is, is unique. Oh, why do I keep messing up? Okay, let's go for dog day. Of course, same shape, go down, cheekbones, and we'll speed through this really fast. Mouth, mouth, and with dog day, he has a slightly bigger version of catnip's nose and a almost very similar catnip smile. Fill that in black. And of course, we're going to go in with those eyes like that. And we kind of kind of butchered that a little bit. All right, here's what makes Dog Day Dog Day. His puppy dog ears. And look at that, I'm screwing up. At least you get to watch me in real time. All right, so a little swoopy there. And then we're going to kind of round it out. Ready? Boom. Doggy ears, just for Dog Day. He has a tail behind of him, but we really can't see it. And he has a sun. So a circle. And just surround that thing with a bunch of little triangles, just like that. <laughs> that one looked really messed up at the bottom there. Let's do that again. Boom. And of course, the zippers. And there's dog day. So duplicate that so we don't lose it for future reference. Merge it down. I'm going to create another layer. Reference it because we're going to do something a little bit different with Dog Day. Dog Day, his colors will be... They're like a... Almost like a gold brown color. I want to say it's a little bit more on the red side when it comes to... Drop my assist. Continue feeling, oh, boom, in his ears. And let's see, he has a lighter brown color for his body, but however, more of a yellow tone for the mouth. So let's go behind the mouth and add that in as well. Just color that in real quick. And also right here for his belly, it's yellow. See, we're underneath the layer, so it's okay to cover up that for a second. And then we do some grays for that. And it would think the, the sun is red and another dark yellow. So we'll go with that darker, oops, go with that darker yellow. Put that in right there. And then take a dark red and just color in those little triangle bits. And one more final detail for dog day. Get that one dark color out. And that, oh, can't do it like that. Take off the drawing assist. And he has one colored eye, just like that. And that is dog day. Pretty simple there. All right, we'll go ahead and merge those two down. Start a new layer there, drawing assist. Duplicate that because we're gonna keep using it over and over again. Let's do another face. Let's do one of my absolute favorites of the bunch and that's Hoppy Hopscotch. So let's go ahead and draw the basis of Hoppy's face. I'm gonna just go ahead and knock that one out. And of course, don't forget the zipper. Hoppy is rocking, totally rocking a lightning bolt. Just some squiggly lines in there, just like that. Ain't gotta be pretty, ain't gotta be perfect, just gotta be fun. 
All right, and that little divot in their forehead. I don't even know what to call that, but I kind of like it. Looks more like a toad right now. Oh well, let's see, what can we do with it? Let's fix it just a tear. Of course, the eyes. Oh, need some white. Let's go back to our black. Now, Hoppy, let's see. Hoppy has a little button looking nose. So I guess it would be very similar to Catnaps. A very little, little triangle nosy in there. But again, like I told you earlier, they're all very much the same when it comes to the basics of their facial structures. So with Hoppy, we'll actually have to go ahead and merge these down. That way there I can shorten it up a tad. Let's get rid of that underdrawing and get rid of that. And that way there we can give it some ears. So you want to do some really long ovals with a little slight taper to them. They ain't gotta be too big, just, you know, just like that. And another one on the inside and a line here and a line there. And that right there is Hoppy. Let's give it a reference, another layer underneath it. So let's go ahead and color Hoppy in. And Hoppy is green. I absolutely love Hoppy. Oops. And go for a darker green. In our gray and the lightning bolt. And that right there is Hoppy. Moving on to the next, let's get rid of Hoppy, bring back our suggestive drawing, that layer, and let's do another layer and assist. Rinse, wash, and repeat. So now we got three done. Let's do, let's do a little bit more unique one real quick because they're all about to get pretty boring. Let's do, what is it? Crafty corn, the unicorn, yes. So let's go ahead and knock her out. But what's gonna make her a little bit different, is it a girl? I'm not sure. Is we're gonna do a triangle right here, bring it in, and just draw some little lines, suggested lines right there for the unicorn itself. And she's got some circles there. And then bring a little bubble out right there. Oh, that looks a little wonky. We're just, Bring it around right there. Make it really nice and cute. And that's like the basis of her head and you wanna swoop up and then come down like in a half circle almost. Same way, swoop up and then come down. And that's the ears. Bring that line down, bring out those cheeks and rinse, wash and repeat. But with this one, she don't have a nose. So we're just gonna Make it round right there, right underneath the eyes. And you can actually bring down the eyes and just follow those lines that we made. Just like that. You can black them in. Even take the white. White. Now let's get back to drawing. And just complete the smile. And there's the smile for Crafty Corn. Crafty Corn has... What, 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 what would you call that? It's like a pendant. And there's a piece there, a piece there, and a piece there. And of course, the zipper. Now Crafty Corn has a tail behind her. So let's just throw it right there. As if it's just fallen behind. All right, so we'll go ahead and merge that down. Reference. Throw a layer underneath it. Now let's color her in. She is a white, but because of the background's white, let's make it kind of a bluish gray. Just so we can see what we're doing. Fill all those in. And then she's actually got a really pretty color blue. There, there, there. There. And we missed a spot. Get the gray for the zipper. And this thing has all kinds of colors in it. it. Looks like 
yellow would be there. Um, kind of looking at a picture over here in the in the off. So, but it looks like you could just throw those just throw those colors in there, however you see fit, and it would all still look right. I'm just gonna throw that one and a purple one for catnip. And go for a white for that unicorn piece. And there is the basis of crafty corn. Go ahead and merge those two together and set them off to the side. Oh, look, we got rid of it, but that's okay. Let's now we'll take the opportunity to draw kicking chicken because there's something slightly different about this one. Let's break out our pencil, drawing assist. All right, so we'll still go with the shape there. And it has a star, so draw you a star and the zipper, of course. Go figure. Now, for its legs, kind of flatten them out a little bit. Still do that. Maybe throw a little line right there for its little, little chicken feet. But instead of the typical plush arm, bring it out. And then, you know, I'll do it over here so you can see. Bring it in, swoop in, swoop in, and then swoop in and complete. Almost like a little set of wings. And that's basically right there. So let's go ahead and fit and fill part of the head. Leave this top part open real quick. Fill in the face. Again, we'll say it. Rinse, wash, and repeat. And I kind of made that wonky. Let's fix that, Mr. Josh. There. There and there. And boom. So before we do the eyes, kicking chicken that is the beak. So borderline triangle right there and now do your eyes all their eyes are basically the same if you haven't noticed even though we're all drawing them all the same so kicking chicken has a pretty neat hairstyle but we'll go ahead and throw a oval without leave it open an oval and throw it in right there usually you see it quaffed to the side but for the sake of this drawing king of chickens kind of looking at us head on and chicken kicking chicken tongue twister here has a tail behind her so just keep that in mind for future references if you're drawing them at different angles but I'm saying for this particular tutorial we are just doing basic frontal views so go ahead and reference add another layer and chicken is obviously yellow continue filling whoa Did we miss something? Make sure we got all of our lines filled in. And we actually did. Who am I kidding? So break out some, go back to that yellow. Where's some orange? Boom, boom, boom. And the star is red. Don't forget the zipper. Oh, and the eyes are white. Well, that's basically kicking chicken. Just a basic. Yes, yeah, some stuff it looks a little wonky, but right now we're just having a little bit of fun and I'm just giving you the basics and bare bones of this. All right, so now we're moving on. Let's do another fun one. Bubba Bubba Buffalant. Another fun fan favorite right there. So let's go do another layer. Assist, break out the black. So this one's gonna be slightly different as well. We can actually make him a little bit on the thicker side. Bring the legs, make them a slightly a little bit thicker as well. And round out the arms. Of course we wanna keep doing those. And those. And Bubba has a light bulb, so it's like a circle, but it comes down. Line, squigglies, and connect. Do some squigglies inside. And don't forget the zipper. Now let's get part of that face ready. Now go ahead and at least get those cheekbones ready. And those eyes. Color that in black. And definitely go ahead and knock out the head. Now here's the cool part. He has some nice ears, so go ahead and throw them out little notch and boom and then kind of do the same shape on the inside 
You can even just do some elongated circles if you need to. You, know, you can throw a little, little niche in there if you want. But that's the ears. Now, Bubba, go ahead and kind of just half circle, but kind of cut from the circle and just start going down, cut around, and there's your elephant nose. Now we'll go and do the, do the smile because it went behind the trunk. And finish that smile off and color it in. And there's Bubba. Bubba has a cute little elephant tail. We can actually just throw it in right here. And it's just hanging in the back. Go ahead and reference it. Add another layer. Now let's color in Bubba. Bubba is a nice blue color. Oh, wrong one. Oh, maybe I can get this right one day. And that's gonna be now. So get those nice and colored in in a darker blue. Oh, something's not right there. Oh well, uh, it's not touching, but that's okay. Let me get that assist in. And let's color it in. Instead of dwelling on mistakes, let's just roll with it and have a lot of fun. We're just gonna color that in real quick. Same right there. Break out that nice blue for the rest of the tail. Did we miss any other spots? Oh yeah, we did right there. And white in the eyes. And the yellow in the light bulb. Whoa. Yellow in the light bulb, oh, what are you doing? <sighs> We're gonna color it in. Sometimes I have no idea that sometimes this program has a mind of its own, see? Or it could just be my chubby fingers getting in the way of life. So there's that. Let's make that a little bit lighter so it stands out. And there, my friends, is Bubbo. Looks like we got one, two, two more to go, I think. Two more to go. Yes. All right, next up is Bobby Bear Hug. Go ahead and assist. All right, let's go ahead and knock out good old Bobby. And same old body, same old legs, same old arms. Cut them lines in, cut them lines in. And good old Bobby has a heart of gold, it seems like, and we'll just put that there. And the zipper. I'm sure you're probably tired of me repeating myself again, but I really hope you're enjoying this process as well. And if you are, please smash that like button and don't forget to hit that bell notification and subscribe. Now let's finish Bobby. Good old Bobby, let's give him that big old smile. I kinda like Bobby. The game comes out, I am ready for him. He's got a cute, cute nose. Actually, it's more round. So give him that nice little round nose. And let's complete that smile. Color it in. Don't forget the eyeballs. Color them in. And the shape of the face. Oh man, there we go. And don't forget the ears. And that's basically Bobby. And I'm sure he's got like a little tail in the background. Now let's color Bobby in reference throw up another layer and Bobby is like this I'm bringing it more towards the red continue feeling and but it kind of gets lighter on the pink side for that for those accent colors of Bobby but also what else makes Bobby unique is, right here, is that pink color as well. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. Cause they still have their unique features when it comes to like certain aspects. Oh, and his belly. Color in his belly. Probably would've helped to draw a cyst on there to do the symmetry, but we forgot. The zipper and his red heart. 
And that's basically Bobby. Oh, and his eyeballs. And there's Bobby. Now we got one more to do. So again, merge those two down. That, and let's start another layer, assist. I'm gonna go ahead and assist both of those layers. So let's do the top layer. Everything's gonna be the same. Rinse, wash, and repeat everything we just did. Save yourself some boredom. And he has a apple, which is like a circle, some squiggly lines at the bottom. And let's just throw a stem right there. And the zipper, can't forget the zippers. Don't forget the big mouth. And the head. And the big smile. We're gonna head and hold it. Hold it. Do that whole smile right there. And then a half circle for the nose and two lines right there. Well, two circles right there. Color that in. Do the eyes. Make them a little bit better than that, Josh. There we go. I know this is a quick drawing, but let's not ruin it. All right, so there's that. Now let's do the ears. And they're gonna kinda round and swoop up and then swoop back down. And you wanna take this line and just swoop it down. And there is Picky, Picky Piggy. That's it, is it Piggy Piggy? Piggy Piggy, Piggy Piggy? Bacon, we're just gonna call it bacon for now. But, reference it. And it's pink. Let's make it an off shade of pink. Continue filling. All right, and then a darker shade of pink for the inside of the ears and the accents there in the nose. All right, and then of course we need the apple to be red. And we'll just make that little spot green just to make it stand out a little bit. And the zipper and the eyes. All right, and that kind of just sums up all of the smiling critters. Now what we can do, and if you just did exactly what I did, you have all of them in your arsenal. So you can actually just, we'll bring him, and then just put him there, that one. Make sure you have it selected. You know, we'll just place him everywhere we can. Oh man, he's adorable. The boy got some fresh hair. Yeah, he does. Um, crafty corn. We'll put that one right there. And if you want it to go behind, just drag it past all behind him. And of course, Hoppy. We're gonna put Hoppy back here. Right there. Of course, drag all the way behind. Doggy D. We'll put him right there. Right there. We'll drag him behind as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pull Catnap behind. Bring him in. And there he is. Um, put him in front of these two. There he goes. And we moved him to the front. And there is all of your hard work. Now, what you think? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I'd love to see how yours turned out. So share with me on Instagram or any social media platform with the hashtag drawwithjh. So thank you for joining me today. But until next time, we'll see you then.